Let's listen in. He engaged the train so it continued forward. When it arrived at the station, though, the same suspect pulled that emergency brake again. When the doors opened, that suspect exited the train and the security guards followed him. He went into an ancillary area, which is not open to the public, and the security guards followed him in there. Inside of that area, there was a physical altercation that occurred between those security guards and that suspect. There was pepper spray that was used, and the suspect pulled out a knife and was able to stab one of the security guards in the lower body. At that time, there was also a shooting. We're not sure at this point if one or both of those security guards fired at the suspect. The suspect did continue upstairs, though, that led to a hatch that he was able to open. He was able to exit the hatch, but he collapsed on the sidewalk, which you can see behind us. There is a knife next to that suspect. The two security guards both received medical treatment at a local hospital, one for the stab wounds that he sustained and the other for minor injuries sustained during the altercation. Correct. Correct. So the hatch you see behind us is the hatch that the suspect and ultimately the security guards did exit. That was opened by the suspect. You have to come up some stairs from that non-public ancillary area. He was able to come up those, opened it, but he collapsed shortly outside of that hatch. We're not sure yet. Um, I can tell you it's a male adult, but after he was pronounced deceased by the fire department, at this point now we've got a crime scene and the coroner will have to respond to positively identify who this individual is and hopefully we can then get some more information about him.